I was once mugged by a fox. <laughs> Who's team? Was it Edward Fox? <laughs> I didn't catch his name, Lou. So, when was this? Uh, this was... Uh, I was probably about 18. 18? Yes, yeah, so about 11 years ago. I'm only 29. <laughs> and what did he get? Your glass here, Mint? No! <laughs> with my friends and, and I'd split from my friends and my friend didn't live too far from where we, we uh, had had the night out. Where, Ryland? Which part yeah. of the country? It was in Essex. It was in Romford. So I decided to walk back to his and he lives in, like, a cul-de-sac, like a dead-end road. Yeah, I we don't know need... what a cul-de-sac yeah. is. Um... <laughs> what you don't know is that in Romford they're quite posh. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. an important detail. It's a very important detail, a cul-de-sac. Um... Fr that's French. Yeah. No, it's... it's... <laughs> So only dead end, literally, not metaphorically. These people are going places. It depends what side of Romford. <laughs> right, yeah. So I'm walking down his road, and as I'm walking down his road, there's a, a wall, and there was a fox on the wall, and I was a on little bit... On the wall? On the wall, just perched What's on the wall. What's he doing up there? Just looking at me. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know if anyone else does this, but if there's, like, a fox or anything, you, I just sort of stamp my foot and went, you know... <laughs> for it to run away. Instead, the fox... Slyly crawled down the wall and yeah. walked towards me. Oh yeah. my word! Like really slowly as well, yeah. right. which put me on edge. Now I've got my phone in one hand and my wallet in the other. I was wearing an extremely skinny pair of trousers. I had no pockets, right? <laughs> so as as I've gone, like, what the hell is going on with this fox? The fox jumped towards me. It leapt off of all of its legs. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, yeah, whoa, whoa. how many legs? Four. <laughs> But all four Can of I just its check? legs. Is that adult? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Go on. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and in the ruckus, like the panic, I've gone, oh, and dropped my phone and wallet. And it grabbed my wallet in its mouth and ran away. It ran away with the wallet? It ran away with my wallet in its mouth. When you ran your bank, were there any unauthorised uses of your credit card? <laughs> well, it's funny because I did have to ring the bank the following day and I said, my, my wallet's been stolen. Um, I need a to cancel my card. from a chicken coop. <laughs> <laughs> And they said, oh, that's fine, we can cancel your cards, but if you could get a crime reference number, because you've said it's been stolen, we need to just log it on the system. I said, yeah, that's fine. So I had to ring the police and describe the assailant. <laughs> and how did you describe him? Ginger and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't take the phone, did he? No, I, got the, I kept the phone. Okay. I was very lucky. And did it come back? Did you, did no. You... It never, never came ne back? Never found it again, so there's some fox out there having a right old jolly up. <laughs> What do you think? Could it be true? Did you not make any attempt to chase chase him or...? Uh, no, I was just in a panic and I just wanted to get to the nearest point of safety. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a lie. I think it's a lie. On the one hand, I don't think he's telling the truth. On the other hand, I've never got one of these right in my entire life. So, <laughs> right. wow. No. Balancing, balancing... You didn't tell us no. that before we booked you. No. <laughs> um, For what it's worth, I've never got anything right on the chase. <laughs> Neither have you I. You surprised me. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> um, I don't think he's telling the truth, no. Just... I think he's lying. OK, yeah, we'll say it's a lie. You're going to say it's a lie. Rylan, mugged by a fox. Truth or lie? It is, in fact, very true and I'm embarrassed. No. Oh. <laughs>